Hey dudes and dudettes, it's me Don Fnatic and welcome to another one of my Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battles. Today I'm bringing something slightly different as you can see, it is a UU tier battle. Well, he suggested UU so I bought a full on UU team, he's kind of bought some lesser used pokes, especially as Swellow's NU, so please don't hate on that, but um, yeah, it's against, oh, I forgot what his name is already, he has tweeted me, it's Noble Co. I hadn't heard of him before, but he's actually got loads of subscribers and I've watched some of his videos and they're actually really cool. Um, and he actually found me as well through like the suggestions on the side apparently, so check me out on Twitter and challenge me to a UU battle and it all happened from there. So I'm bringing uh, Life Orb Zorok, Choice Specs, Raikou, Choice Scarf, Victini, Black Sludge, Specially Defensive, Roserade, Physically Defensive, Slowbro, and Life Orb Flygon. And seriously, Life Orb Flygon catches a lot of people off guard, they'll think it's Choice, so Whenever I go for a move, they, well, they try and swap, predicting me to be scarfed, but it doesn't work out. Anyway, Axel is issuing a challenge. The reason I'm so keen to upload this, I literally had this battle about 15 minutes ago, is because I make some of the most pro plays I think I have ever done. I start off a bit sloppy uh, in the game, but then I get some my, my prediction pants on, basically, as I like to use that term. My prediction pants sorted, and um, I do completely go pro mode on this guy, but not to say he was bad, he was really good too, and it was a really fun battle. Anyway, he goes straight up for Brave Bird, if he'd have protected and got the Toxic or something, uh, Toxic Orb, to get the Guts boost, uh, he might have been able to do more damage to me, so uh, it's, I'm quite glad that he actually hit me straight off the bat with Brave Bird and I lived, so um, kind of shows why Swellow is down there in the NU tier. So anyway, we're down to 5 all after one turn, so this is a going to be a lot more strategic this battle than I'm normally facing in PU. PU is just kind of like kill, quickly kill something else, swap, kill something, a bit like that. So UU is a lot more tricky for me, but I really do enjoy UU. Uh, it's a lot more fun than RU and OU in my opinion. Um, not that I'm partial to a bit of RU and OU every now and then. Anyway, I go into Roserade here expecting him not to want to go for the Ice Beam really, obviously because Victini resists it, and he goes for the Water Pulse. I'm still confused as to why people run Water Pulse on Mega Blastoise, obviously it gets the wonder, whatever it is, mega launcher boost, but surely Hydro Pump's still going to do more. So, anyway, I'm going to expect him to want to swap, because obviously he's not going to take a Giga Drain, I'm pretty sure I could probably take an Ice Beam from Mega Blastoise and kill that thing in two hits. So, uh, he obviously swaps into his Nidoking, and I take that chance, um, not really knowing what he's going to swap into, but I set up a layer of spikes, which is quite helpful, actually. Um, here, I give the Hidden Power Ice on this Nidoking, and it's a critical... Well, it's not actually Hidden Power Ice. I have no idea what it is. It might be Hidden... Nope, it's not Hidden Power Fire. Oh, I don't know what Hidden Power is. But basically, it's neutral to this Nidoking, so I might have to go and look and see what that is. I might have salved it wrong, actually, and given it Hidden Power Dark. Who knows? Um, but he's... Uh, I figured he was Choice Scarfed. I was hoping he wasn't, but by the way he switches out at the end of this turn, it's kind of obvious he is Choiced in some way. Um, it'd be nice if he was Specs, but I don't think you really ever see any Specs Nidoking. That thing would wreck though. If it was a bit faster, Jesus Christ, Nidoking would be so scary. Not that it isn't scary anyway. With a choice scarf, it hits hard with sheer force. Anyway, I know he's going to want to swap into Blastoise here, expecting the school, so I swap into Rose Raid, get a bit of Black Sludge left, uh, Black Sludge leftovers, a bit of Black Slush recover. It's, oh my god, I'm just going to, I'm not even going to bother saying it. You, you saw what happened. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he's going to switch here, but I want to get a Giga Drain off because I need some more health back on my Rose Raid because it could be handy quite later on taking out that Blastoise, he really does not appreciate my Roserade, so I know if I keep it around, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. And that Giga Drain does quite a lot, considering I have no special attack investment, and that's a resisted hit. Uh, I imagine that Arcanine isn't especially bulky, it's probably physically bulky, because it runs Intimidate too, so it can probably take them physical hits really well. But I'm going to swap into Slowbro, because I completely check this thing, because um, I actually find out he hasn't got the Wild Charge, he's definitely a defensive set. And uh, revealing the Will O Wisp to me, which is quite nice and handy to know for the future, because um, obviously I can play around with that with Victini and with Roserade having Natural Cure. Anyway, I'm going to swap here, expecting him to go for the Leaf Blade. Or no, I'm going to switch here because, well, I can't remember why. I was expecting his Blastoise, I think. I'm not really sure. Um, here I was predicting him to overpredict and go for the Leaf Blade, which he does. So uh, he's actually Life Orb, but I also want to kind of scout as to whether he was choice or not, but if he has a choice scarf Nidoking, King, he probably wouldn't have a choice scarf Gallo too. Could have been choice banded or lefties bulk up or assault vest. There's loads of different sets this thing can carry, so I was kind of scared of it. And now I'm gonna predict him to go for the psycho cut. Um him probably expecting me thinking it was too obvious. So he did go for the psycho cut and uh, I obviously tank that quite well. It's a bit more life orb damage. Now I know I can take a, a leaf blade pretty well. Even if it gets a critical hit, I'm pretty confident I can live it. Because obviously if it was a critical hit like in the old game where it was two times, it would probably kill me. But even with 1.5, I don't think it would have. 
Um, it does about 100 damage anyway, so after Lefty, so I might have been able to take another one. But he obviously gets the Life Orb recoil, and I go for the Stab School, hoping to get the burn. But actually, turns out it's enough to kill it. So that Gallade is gone, and that is a massive threat gone. So that's actually the first down since the first turn. So this game, you can see why it was intense. Uh, it lasted quite a while, and it was really fun, I have to say. Anyway, in comes this Blastoise again. This thing's a problem. I was kind of expecting him to go for Dark Pulse, but I know Roserade is going to be more helpful in this battle than Slaybro, or at least I thought. I, I mean, in the end, it turned out Slaybro wouldn't have been super helpful, but, well, no, that's the wrong word. It would have been super helpful. It would have made things easier for myself, but it wasn't key. So I bring in Roserade because obviously he doesn't want to stay in on that. Um, in comes the Arcanine again. He really likes this defensive Arcanine, man. This thing gave me quite a few problems. Um, I go for the Giga Drain again. I, it's a real shame I don't carry the Sludge Bomb. Or, I don't carry Sludge Bomb or Sleep Powder on this thing. I have Spikes, Giga Drain, Hidden Power, which I don't know what Hidden Power is. I might swap that for Sludge Bomb anyway. And um, Rest, because I am Natural Cure and Specially Defensive set. And wow, that set worked so well. Um, anyway, he goes for the Morning Sun here. So he's got the will from Morning Sun. So it kind of convinced me he doesn't have the Wild Charge at this point. Uh, probably Flare Blitz and Extreme Speed or something, and he does reveal the Extreme Speed here, so I'm pretty confident he's going to have a Stab Fire move. That's his last move, but I go for the U-Turn here, because I don't really want to stay in on this Arcanine, because I can't really touch it. I can, well, as you can see, Victini is the key to me winning this battle later on, but at this point, it isn't. I didn't really think of that. It was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing, and it worked out perfectly. So I bring in my Flygon, going for, or wanting to go for the Earthquake, but this thing it comes in, and it's on a Balloon. As soon as he bought it in, I was like, yeah, he knows... He knows I'm going for Earthquake, and he's definitely going to be on a balloon, but he doesn't know I'm not Scarfed, so I can go for the U-turn here, completely surprising him, and um, he goes for the Ice Punch. Now, I don't know why he goes, for, well, maybe he did expect me not to be choiced, because he saw my Victini, um, but he does go for the Ice Punch, so I think, yeah, he's he's not going to want to stay in, well, no, he's not, no, he is going to stay in to do the Ice Punch, but I can bring in Victini to resist that hit really well. Victini can take attacks really well even when um, without any defensive investment because of its base 100 overall. Anyway, I bring in Raikou here, expecting him to want to switch, uh, expecting me to go for the U-turn, but he actually goes for the Earthquake, and I I was like, oh dear, oh dear, Raikou, please, no, and I live on 9, purely because it's not Stab. And here I go for the Hidden Power, this is definitely Hidden Power Ice, and it actually takes out because I have Choice Specs. I was kind of expecting him to go into his Nido King. I wasn't going to go for an Electric move, so I didn't anticipate him. Well, I don't really know what I could have done, it was that Aurora Sphere, so... Aura Sphere would have probably been the smarter move, but Hidden Power does take out, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, I don't know what he's going to go for here. I'm expecting him to go for a Will-O-Wisp, and I don't really want that thing burnt because it's on such low HP. But he does actually have the Extreme Speed, so maybe I was expecting the Extreme Speed. That would make more sense. Anyway, here I go for the Trick on the Choice... Uh, trick and him, the Choice Scarf. I think he's a defensive variant. It could cripple him. And even with E-Speed, the, the Scarf doesn't really help. So he gets the Willis pair actually, which is perfect. He obviously predicted me to switch for some reason, and um, with U with U turn, sorry. And I do this turn after he stays in, which is perfect. U turn was the perfect move, just to see if he wanted to ex or go for the Will O Wisp, expecting me to swap. But I don't. Now I bring in Raikou, thinking, well, if he goes for the Will O Wisp, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch here. Here I expected it. This is where it gets pro, guys. This is where I get my proper prediction pants on. He's like, I'm expecting him to. I think I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Ice, expecting him to bring Nido King in, but I go straight up for the Volt Switch, predicting him to bring in the Blastoise, predicting me to go for the Hidden Power Ice, and that Mega Blastoise goes down, clean, and easy, and now he has a Choice Scarfed Arcanine and a Choice Scarfed Nido King. So at this point I was like, alright, I've taken down his Mega Blastoise, but what the hell am I meant to do now, because he's got two Choice Scarf users on his team. So in comes his Arcanine here, and my thought process is, right, I need to get my Scarf back, that way I might be quicker than uh, Nido King. So he goes for the Flamethrower here because he's choice and he needs to go for an attack. If he'd gone for the E-Speed he might have been able to have killed me and that was that was key. Um, I go for the Trick to get my Choice Scarf back. So now I'm giving him his Rocky Helmet at, uh, back and I know he's at low health. Well not low, he's at lower health. He might go for the Morning Sun here so I take my chances. Go for the Double Trick, give him the Choice Scarf back. I get the Rocky Helmet back, and he does go for the Morning Sun, which means he has to switch into his Nido King, which means I can take down the biggest threat on his team to my whole team, because he could hit me for super effective damage and everything. I just go flat out V-Create on this turn. I don't care what Victini does now. I mean, as long as it takes this Nido King out, it's completely good game. If he'd have kept his Arcanine around and tried to stall me out, he might have won this game, but the fact he swapped there and wanted to preserve his Arcanine meant it, it cost him the game. My double trick prevailed and it, I can't believe it actually worked. I felt so pro after doing that. But in comes the Arcanine 
and uh, he's going to be locked into flamethrower or extreme speed here uh, because that's all he can do. He goes for extreme speed just to take down my Victini, but I do have uh, a Flygon which is pretty much at full health. Um, there's no way an, even a critical hit extreme speed would kill my Flygon. So it's pretty much good game. I've forgotten your name again because I've only literally just heard of you, but uh, Noble Co slash Axel. I mean, that was such a fun game. If you're watching this, thank you for battling me. We're definitely going to have a rematch at some point, and sorry I forgot your name. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this UU battle, please let me know because I don't normally do UU things on my channel, but I really do enjoy playing it. So if you have UU team, make sure you hit me up at some point if I'm free. I'll probably battle you. I need some more battles to start uploading. Now I've got a more uh, more frequent spare time, there's probably going to be more videos. This week, there probably won't be because I've got lots of football that I've had to miss from studying and stuff. So I'm kind of catching up on that again. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe to me and my opponent. Other than that, I hope you had a nice time. See you later.